everybody, welcome back again to the Meat and Berries channel featuring Nox hiding behind this chair. When last we were here, you were here, we were together, uh, we talked about Meat Yard's favorite champions that he already has, per the request of one of your comments. And now we're going to talk about my favorite champions that I have. And Meat Yard picked some big spooky dudes, right? My solid biggin and the miscreated monster so i'm gonna do the opposite of that and show you some cute girls oh yes so i have two i'm going with my two favorite champions and i've been using them together for a lot of things so we'll get to see them both in action and that is gonna be uh they're, they're two demon girls the screaming demons here paidma and allure they're both epics i do have some legendary heroes but these two I've been using a lot lately, and I just really like them, and I think they're really fun and funny in what they do. So, Paidma, I originally leveled her after getting her to use on Clan Boss because she does skills. Where is it? Here it is. Decrease attack, which is great for the Clan Boss. Hooray, de decrease attack. But I found later, especially in the blue cube, Paidma's appropriation is the funniest thing in the world. So she steals buffs, right? That's what appropriation does. Attacks one enemy, removes all buffs from the target, and places them on this champion. So if you've ever done the final levels of the magic keep, you know the boss puts up a really big shield and a big uh, attack bonus, and you can just take that, and you can just make that yours. And the shield on Paidma is more health than she actually has. So it's very funny and makes doing the final stage of the magic keep super, super easy. You don't have to worry about that shield. You just suck it off. You just, it, it's great. And if that wasn't fun and trolly enough, then you get Allure, who is a turn meter manipulator. The only thing, the only ability that matters for Allure is actually her A1 psychic whip. Attacks three times at... Attacks three times at random, decreases the target's turn meter by 25% on each critical hit. So with Allure, you don't book her or anything because she doesn't use any other abilities except her A1. Uh, you get her fast, so she attacks faster than the boss. You get her crit high, so she always crits. And she just does this over and over again, stealing their turn meter or removing their turn meter. So for any of the bosses like the Fire Knight, again, the Magic Keep, the Ice Golem, uh, they just never get to attack anymore once you get Allure there. The, the only drawback or hard part with Allure is that she's very fragile, so getting her there alive is, is the hardest part. She doesn't die on trash. Uh, she'll do great. So I use both of these uh, together in a lot of places. The Blue Keep isn't open right now, so I cannot show you the magic keep where we could watch paid must steal a buff but we can go to the fire knight if we didn't get enough running fire knight for this tournament earlier let's just go do some fire knight uh, and they can auto it meat yard you you push buttons for yours i'm just gonna send them to one that they can auto the others in the team here um we're gonna uh, we'll take who we're gonna take out but paid in. i guess we'll take Krila out that's fine. Krila is fun with Allure, because uh, that bonus attack, you can uh, get extra Allure hits, but we don't need that. We'll just send her in with Paidma. Off they go, together. And they can, they can auto this. I'm not even looking at it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really just, those are my two favorites that I have right now. I have a bunch of other fun champs that I like, but especially when I was farming the blue cube, Paidma stealing that buff, and then Allure let- like, the boss never got to attack. She puts up her buff, you let her go one time, you allow her to go one time. So she buffs. Paidma grabs it, and then she just never attacks again. The only challenge is just making sure Allure doesn't die to trash, because she's so squishy. Very small. Very small girl. So, there they go. They'll, they'll get to the Fire Knight sooner or later. The, uh, the only thing to consider when you do a team like this with Allure, since the, the boss ideally will never attack, um, you don't want to use Poisoners or anything that happens on the boss's turn, because he's not going to have one once Allure gets going. Um, so for a while I was running them with Kale, 
And he was very sad because his poisons never got to tick. So we put our old girl Elhane. If you remember our mistakes we made in the early game video, it's my pal Elhane. There she is. But she's actually uh, trotted back out for this because she's not poison damage. So there goes Allure, just not letting him take a turn. Yeah, he didn't get to go at all. No. He doesn't have any fun buffs for paid mud to steal, but that's fine. That's more like the magic keep. You can slurp that buff off, but it's, magic keep's not open, so. Could not be featured in this video. In the Minotaur, she could take off his rage buff. Yeah, she could steal the Minotaur's rage. She's using it like that she's used appropriate, but there was nothing. Yeah. There's nothing to take. But her uh, attack down buff is is still really good, uh, especially for clan boss since you can't manipulate his turn meter. So don't bring a lure there. She can't do that. But you can use the attack down for the clan boss or anywhere else. She has an AOE attack down. So. And you got a void potion. Yay! Those were my favorite champs that I have. What are you doing, Nox? Thanks for watching. Don't start streaming, Meat Yard. I hope you guys like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what your favorite champs that you have are. And if you have any video ideas that you would like us to make, then go ahead and put that in the comment below because this here... This was a comment this and now a it's comment. a video times yeah. two. Times two. And there'll probably be more videos from that one comment. Yeah. Bye guys.